guys, it's Jen, also known as Quirks and Stitches. I hope you're all doing well and having a great week. Um, I wanted to check in briefly right now. Um, I'm not going to get into a whole floss tube though. I just uh, had a request on my last video that I share how I organize my floss, my DMC specifically. Um, I've mentioned in the past that I have a master set and um, you know, I, I've thought about showing it to you guys, but I wasn't sure if there was much interest. So since that um, request came out, thank you, Jane of All Threads, um, I decided let's go ahead and do it. Also, I want to thank her because it was kind of in a messy state um, because getting ready for Stitch Madness, I, um, I go through all my floss. I try to utilize what I have as much as possible because I've been... Um, hmm. In the past, I haven't always been so frugal about it and so it's probably why I have so much floss right now because I just kept buying it and not checking to see if it was in my stash. So I do try to utilize what I have um, to be most cost effective with this craft. Uh, doesn't always happen, you know, sometimes you just got to go out and get it. But I um, figured I'd show that to you today. I keep a master set of DMC and I pretty much have all the colors. Um, I know the last time I was prepping it. I did make a list and picked up everything, but I didn't refill it all yet. So there will be some gaps in what I'm going to show you. Um, behind me, if I can figure out how to do this, there are three binders over there. Um, there's a black, a purple, and a red. They contain all of my DMC. The black contains one through 600. Um, I do have the new colors, but they're not in that binder. The purple has 700 through 900s, and the red has... Um, the 3000s and I don't have all the like the specialty I, I think I have them the variegated DMCs but I don't have them set up in the system maybe eventually I'll get there um, there are also over there there are two gray bins um, the top one contains my specialty threads uh, right now they're, they're a disaster I have this really cool old card catalog from a library that Brandon bought, brought me home from work, uh, his old job one day. And my goal is to add legs to that and get all of those drawers organized, like to be able to use those to organize my specialty gloss. Hasn't happened yet. We think maybe my, my mom's neighbor might be able to build the bottom part for us, but again, haven't gotten there. Um, so specialty floss lives there. Actually, most of it is actually tied up in current whips. So there's not as much as doesn't look I like I have as much as I actually do. The bottom one I will bring over. So I'm going to um, pause here and go get my first binder and my little container and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, seem like nothing for you. We'll see if Brandon edited in some crickets that time or just the last time. <laughs> um, this box, it's a mess. It contains all of my old project cards that have been used. So like this was brouhaha what I stitched for one of my 24 hours. Um, so I will put these back into here before, um, and I try like if I'm picking a new pattern and I'm going to be going through, if this box has been as full, I go through here first because I don't start a new skein for every project I do. I try to utilize like, there's a whole lot of 3766 on here and I, I should be able to use that for, you know, as long as the project isn't huge, I should be able to utilize that on another project. I am in the process of migrating all of these in to my binders. Um, but right now I've only gotten them all back into the, the first binder, my black binder, which is um, right now it's 100s through 600s. It will also hold the ones, one through 35 or whatever the new ones were. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how I, I sort these. These are what I always go through first. There's not a ton of like 611 on here, but it would be enough to do like a small. So I know like when I'm getting my like huge projects together, I will buy new skeins for those specifically if I'm concerned about dye lot. If it's something like, like I just started um, and a forest grew. Um, Watson's here, Pandy's here, everybody's around right now, sorry. Um, I just started and a forest grew. And like, even though that's a huge, huge project, there's not like huge sections of the same color. So if a color, like if a dye lot is a little bit off in one tree to another, you're not gonna know even if it was supposed to be 
So I'm not as I'm not as careful about those ones as I would be for like um, a hawk run or something like that, where it's going to be filling in one color of a house. Um, so yeah, so I, I keep all of my things. I do my DMC in the skein. It comes in the skein, and I pre-cut it all. So I will unwind it and put it into the project cards. I used to when my mom first got me my first set of DMC. It was on bobbins. And she was just reminiscing about this wonderful story that she spent so much time bobbinating all of my DMC. And then I decided I didn't like bobbins anymore because I didn't like the creases. Um, so she started me on another set. And this was kind of her influence. And then I, she has a similar process upstairs. We, we keep it a little bit different. She doesn't use the same binders as I do. I have no idea where I got these binders, but I love them. Uh, I think Walmart, like years and years ago. So they zip up, keeps everything nice and neat. I have in here, so there's three sections to this binder. There are my cards over here, and it folds out really nicely, so it really does make it easy to be able to pull them out. I, have, I use the Lorraine Master Cards. And I have, I printed out labels uh, for each of the, the colors. So each one of these should be a full skein of DMC. That way I know that if I'm really itching to start something, I don't have to run out to the store in the middle of the night. But this is really my ultimate, ultimate backup. I try not to pull from here unless it's an emergency. <laughs> You know, because when isn't stitching an emergency? You know, you could be, I don't know. It's my last go-to though. So they're all organized there. Like I said, there are some holes in there right now, um, but I'm getting to filling them in. This zipper part of the pouch, that has my backup skeins that would fit in this binder. So it has anything from 100 to 600 in here. So. The part that I have struggled with for a really long time is what do I do? I don't really like the idea of having this basket around because it's messy and it doesn't like, it takes a lot of time. If I want to look through and find, oh, do I have any that have 434 on them? I have to go through all of them until I find it. It's just clunky. So I've gone several different ways. The other feature this binder has is it has a little accordion folder like this. So for a long time, when I originally designed my project cards, I paused a little bit because it just got a little glitchy and I noticed that I was stopped on screen having a little, we got a new webcam and we're trying to figure out the glitches on it. So <laughs> my editor will take care of that. Um, I originally figured I would snip these and just store them in Ziploc bags and then maybe each component of the accordion would get a certain number bag. And I've done it that way for a really long time, but I found that it was too laborsome to go through them. And so I opted to go buy new ones instead of sorting through that way. Um, or I wouldn't refill the bags. And it was like, you know, and then I had like three that were 310, but it just wasn't working for me. So what I have recently, and this is very recent, um, it's a system that I think I had been working on years ago and was figuring that I would put into floss away bags and I never got there. Um, I recently pulled out the system and I'm trying to make it work for my binders. I don't know if it's ultimately going to work, but I'm going to try it and see and I can report back once I do another like major kidding up event. I had these little birds. It was like a bird punch that I got at like Joann's. Um, and it punches out and I had, I had these all pre-punched. I was originally, I don't know what I was, I was gonna use them for floss of some sort. I think something similar and I was gonna put each one into a floss away bag. The time it took me to open the floss away bags and figuring out how I was gonna put them, they were gonna go in my card catalog, they were gonna, it just, it did not work. It never came to fruition. So what I'm trying now is I've, I've got three, these were file folders that I had. And I actually, I, I don't remember what, when I did this, so it was years ago. I had them punched though, so I have a whole stack of bluebirds. 
have a whole stack of these are purple colors a little bit off but they're purple purple birds and a whole stack of red birds so I don't have a blue binder but I have a black binder and the color the <laughs> my binders are in order they're in alphabetical order so the color is black purple red B is first because it comes first in the alphabet and then I can remember that that's the first one in order I literally just switched that the other day because I used to just sit at my and be like I need a, a six hundred color and I could never remember what color binder it was in so like I knew the breakdown but so that now they're in alphabetical order um so I have these these are like the whites ecru and black 310 is a number but it's 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 always black so I have three holes on each bird and it holds the color and that's what I'm gonna do so that way when I'm kidding up a project I can just pull through these if I have them It'll be pre-cut, already started. If it's going to be, I think, enough to get me through the project, I'll pull from here. If not, I'll pull from either a full skein, if I have a full skein here, or I will pull from this. Looks like a mess, but it's not a mess. So I went through. So those are the, the like whites in B5200. Then this ring has my extras for the 100s. I think I'll do 100s and 200s together because there aren't that many of them. Um, I need to get bigger binder rings, I think. These have the 300s, and then I can just easily flip through and see what I have already. And is already pre-cut, because that is like the thing I hate the most about organizing a project, is pre-cutting the DMC. Um, I went ahead, I had a file on, I made Brandon pull out my like really massively old iMac today because I, I knew that I had created the file to label the master cards and I wanted the little birds to all have labels too because I didn't like my handwriting on them. Um, so I had I just printed them out on labels. Maybe the glare will stop. Um, and then this way too, I know if there's a sticker here, for that number it doesn't have a bird <laughs> and I, I'm going back and forth whether I want to just make a bird for each of the colors and then it, it can just hang empty if it doesn't have any DMC on it or if I just want to do that when I have a color to put onto this system um, so yeah I think that's pretty much pretty much the gist of how I organize my DMC like I said I get in spurts where I'm not good about keeping it up and um, organizing it right. Uh, there, there are holes in it um, and it, it never fails that when there's a hole in it that's the color you need for the next project and then you're making a midnight run to, I don't know what craft stores are open at midnight, but you're making a <laughs> last minute trip um, to, to get something. But that's kind of my system. Um, I think that's what works for me. It's going to be similar for my specialty threads. I also have um, have gray ones of the birds already. So I think I'll have a, a clip for a binder ring for Weeks Dye Works, or Gentle Arts, and things like that. Um, if I'm just stitching monochromatically, I don't always have a floss card made and I just keep it on the card that it comes in. If it's a specialty, if not, I, I make my project cards because I'm me and have to make everything a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else about this system that I wanted to share. I know like um, like you look at this and it looks like kind of tangled and you're pulling from it. It really, I, I would imagine it's like having long hair when your hair gets knotted. You know, you just kind of have to work your fingers through it and it gets unknotted. Um, I've never had a problem. I, I am very I save every little piece like it's ridiculous like I finally today was like okay I'm throwing this away because there's literally like three strands left and or like three threads in a strand um I am you know and I just it's been in my stash for forever it it's lived its life it can go away um but for the most part I keep them until they're gone uh when I'm cutting I always do my DMC to this length I don't have a needle with me but um if I'm going to be 
stitching where I am using two strands. If I'm stitching on 32 count or under, I pull one thread out and I pull it. I'm just going to waste this piece right now. I pull it all the way out like this. I do the loop trick. I don't feel like it hinders my stitching or makes it look funny at all. So I do that. Um, if I'm going to be stitching not with two strands, you can see that this one has already started. I'll pull that same loop out and then I snip. So I've left a half a thread length. So if I pull this one out, I told you it was all nice and neat and then I got knotted. When I pull this one out, it's just going to be enough for a single strand. So I don't have to loop it over, you know, I can stitch and it's not going to be too long for um, a project because I don't like it when the DMC is too long. I think I get more knots in it and um, I will just stitch with one strand. So I know that um, my mom sometimes will um, double fold hers if she knows she's going to be stitching on a smaller count of fabric. I don't like to do that because I like it to be transferable to any size and I hate when I'm working on 32 count and it's a short like that length hate it because then I, I can't do I don't do the loop trick and if I'm stitching with two strands that's like the benefit of stitching with two strands so um, that's my DMC that's my floss what I'd like to do is if you guys have any interest I will do how I organize my patterns which is much more in depth and much more <laughs> ridiculous um, it would involve me kind of showing you how my computer is set up though because there is a lot of storage for my patterns on my computer. So if you have an interest in that and want to see what I do, how my mind works a little bit, um, I'd love to show you, but um, I don't know if you really care. So uh, that's kind of what's going on with me. I'm going to be back probably tomorrow or what is today? Friday? Brandon's off, so my days are all messed up. Today is Friday. I'll probably be back either tomorrow or Sunday, and I will film a catch-up floss tube. Um, I got some happy mail this week, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got um, and tell you what I'm stitching because I started some really great projects. i uh, really excited about them. Um, I also have my whips all organized now, and almost all of them are in project bags because my mom is amazing. Um, so I have, have a spreadsheet for that, you know, cause I can't do anything without making a spreadsheet. So I keep like putting a project in a bag and then we'll make another one big, like, oh, but that bag fits it better. So I have to switch it. The mind of Jen, I don't think you want me to show you how I organize things because it's a little scary. Um, but that's it. I mean, it's not that, it's not that complicated. Oh, this is, this is what that list looks like of my DMC labels. I don't think I am suited to do tutorials for as much as I have taught in my life and as much of a good teacher I am. I don't think this is my strong suit, guys. Uh, I think I'm just a little too sporadic and I like to stay like where I'm at. I don't want to move around. I don't want to get up and show like stand. Um, the other nice thing about this binder, sorry for the zipping noise, is it does have another zipper here. <laughs> It just lets you get into the accordion folder part, which makes a nice, I don't really utilize it that much, but they're nice little binders. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do if DMC comes out with a whole lot of more colors, a whole lot of more, a whole lot more colors because uh, I don't know where I got the binders and I like everything to be the same. That's it guys. Um, hope this is helpful and I uh, hope you're stitching and having a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.